finding my passion, but I couldn't find it yet. Remember, so. remember, you're making it too complicated. When we talk about the idea of acting on your excitement, we're only saying it has to start from the very simple level of at any moment looking for what carries the most excitement out of all the things you are capable of doing at that moment. It doesn't have to be a career. It doesn't have to be a job. It doesn't have to be a project. It can be moment to moment. That's the way to start. We will assume that you chose to be here today because that's the choice that excited you the most out of any other option you had. Yes or no? Yes. Then you see how easy it is? That's all you need to keep doing. When this event has concluded, you will be presented, obviously, in your life with another bunch, as you say, of options. Choose the one that's the most exciting, that you have the greatest degree of ability to take action on and take action on it with no particular expectation. And then the next moment, keep doing that. And the next moment, keep doing that. And the next moment, keep doing that. And that excitement, like a thread, will lead to all other circumstances synchronistically to allow your excitement to grow which may eventually develop into a passion project, which may eventually develop into what you call a career or not, it doesn't really matter. But you don't have to define your excitement in such a narrow way. Anything that you act on that contains the highest excitement in that moment is acting on your highest excitement. That's it. All excitement leads to all other excitement. So if anything else needs to grow from it, it will. But the only way it can do so is if you're willing to take the step every moment on whatever excites you the most so that it will function like a series of stepping stones that will lead you to the next most exciting thing. And your excitement will always grow and expand and you'll be given more and more opportunities synchronistically to act on bigger and bigger and bigger expressions of your excitement. That's how it works. So it really doesn't make sense that you cannot ever act on your excitement if you simply start simply. You understand? Yes, I do. <laughs> so you've already proven you can do it by choosing to be here today. So just keep doing those kinds of things. Keep making those kinds of choices. And don't stop. Make sense? Makes sense. Is that but too simple for you? It is too simple, but... Why do you insist that it I'm needs doing, to be more complicated? Not... Why do you insist it needs to be more complicated? I don't know. Yes, you do. I really don't know. Yes, you do. You really do. <laughs> Anytime you make a choice, you make a choice for one reason and one reason only. Because you have a belief that says that choice somehow serves you, benefits you. That means that if you keep choosing things that actually don't serve you, but you keep choosing them, it means you believe they serve you even if you know they don't. Remember, knowing is higher than belief. You can know something doesn't serve you, but you can believe and keep believing that it does. And as long as you keep believing that it does, you'll keep choosing it. Which means you've attached a belief to that thing that makes it seem like it's to your benefit even though you know it's not. So you have to find out what the belief is you've attached to that thing that would make it seem like the thing to keep choosing even when you know you don't want to. But when you find out what that belief is that makes it seem logical to keep choosing that thing you say you don't really prefer, then once you identify that belief, you will see that it's nonsensical, that it makes no sense, and you'll let it go. But you have to find and identify what that belief is that makes it seem logical to keep choosing something you know you don't prefer. You understand? I think I do. <laughs> you think you do. I'll give you an example. Many people on your planet, as we have already discussed, present to us the idea that they have abundance issues. The idea being that perhaps they were brought up with conflicting belief systems. Perhaps they were told that they will not be successful unless they make a lot of money on your planet. While at the same time, perhaps they have also been taught that the love of money is the root of all evil. So if they have a stronger belief in the idea 
that if they make a lot of money, they will become an evil person and they really, really, really don't want to be an evil person, then they will do everything in their power to avoid making money because they've attached a belief to money that it is evil. But once they recognize that that's just a belief they've attached to the idea of money and realize that it really makes no sense, then they don't have to believe that and let that belief go, then they will know, I don't have to be an evil person to attract abundance and wealth to me in variety of forms. That doesn't make me evil. So once they have clarified that idea, then they will no longer operate that way. They will no longer see things that way and their reality will change accordingly. Does that make more sense? Yes, it does. Does that help you then? It helps. All right. Do any other questions remain? Yes. Or are these the same questions in different clothing? Uh, actually, I have a question about one of my dreams. Yes. Uh, I had a dream about a month ago. Yes. Um, I saw my sisters and uh, one of a great leader for my country in history. And we were talking to each other. What is your country? Turkey. All right. Uh, so I've never seen him before in my dream, as far as I remember. All right. So I would like to ask if it has any meaning. Of course it all has meaning because you give it meaning. But it is symbolic of your desire and your wish to allow for a certain kind of acceleration and unification to begin to spread in that kind of area on your planet, in that part of your world. You can also help with this if you wish to share new ideas with the individuals in that area in a variety of ways and give them the options and the opportunity to explore new ideas. But there will be also other beings that will come forth, other people on your planet that will come forth to express many of the new ideas we are talking about here, but they will express them in slightly different ways as befits the belief systems of those areas. So you are recognizing that Shifts are happening, changes are occurring in the collective consciousness that will give rise to a variety of individuals who will express new ideas in a variety of ways as befits the different belief systems on your planet. You're sensing that shift, you're sensing that change, specifically with regard to the vibration of the area you are familiar with, that you're connected to. And there was an earthquake about three months ago. Many people Turkey. love to shake themselves awake because they don't do it in any other way. If they will not do it smoothly, they will do it jarringly, but they will do it.